My dear friends, we are still in Dubai, in Grozny city, sorry. I want to call this capital of Chechnya, Dubai. Why? Nobody, nobody can believe that uh, the war was over only 20, 25 maybe year, years ago. And have a look at this terrific city. And again, again, this side of uh, Grozny reminds me Dubai. <laughs> But the climate here is uh, mild and um, it's going to be rain soon, though it's, it's very hot now outside. The main mosque of Grozny uh, is located in the very heart of the city, surrounded by beautiful park and green trees and modern buildings. And do you know the name of this main mosque? The heart of Chechnya. And I remind you that I travel my vacations in Chechnya. A wonderful, interesting region of Russia. One of the most unbelievable mosques in the world is Mother's Heart Mosque. It's located in Argun, one of the uh, Argun is one of the cities of Chechenska Republic, and it looks really gorgeous and and amazing. Just have a look. So this is the mother's heart in Chechnya. High tech style. What do you think about it? very unusual and I think uh, we can go inside I'm not sure is it possible to shoot a video inside but I'll try it was opened in 2014 so it's new mosque just to go inside this mosque we have to wear a special cloth and you see Tanya Tanya has a ch great chance uh, to be a Muslim a uh, woman for a while. <laughs> yeah? I have been dreaming about this. The first thing you have to do here in a mosque, uh, you have to take off your shoes. The first floor in a mosque is a place for men's praying, and the second floor is for women. So wonderful. Tranquility and and silence. I am Orthodox, but while traveling around the world, I visit uh, different churches and temples and cathedrals of all religions, and I respect all religions. I think it's it's something cosmic. Very beautiful church. Mother's heart. This is such an it's inspiring place with its unforgettable ceiling and it's full of air as for me I love to visit mosques I think it's about love small city Chale in Chechenska Republic is well known all over the world I hope all of you know this city chalet because the biggest mosque in the world is located here um, mr kadyrov is uh, very ambitious and uh, 
this small city looks like like this new houses and uh, and very beautiful gates i would like to have similar gates have a look guys it seems this mosque is flying it's so light and full of air I'm shocked. This terrific, unbelievable, unforgettable mosque is made from marble and um, I think it's the best marble in the world um, from Greek island Tassos uh, uh, marble extradictions. I've been there, I remember those uh, marble. It's really great. Oh, it attracts my attention in every centimeter. I think you need just maybe 20 minutes to go around this mosque. It's, it's really giant. I mentioned that Mr. Kadyrov is an ambitious man. The name of this mosque is the Pride of Muslims and all women go upstairs according to the traditions and the first floor is only for men. It's, it's something terrific and gorgeous. I will show you right now. And do you recognize this girl? This is our Tanya. <laughs> this perfect interior mm. there are more than 25 kilos of pure gold in these chandeliers and all the carpets are made from the purse of New Zealand sheep and all this is the best marble in the world from Ireland Truth be told, this is the most beautiful and extraordinary mosques I have ever seen. I am not in Dubai city, I am in Grozny city. And just have a look. This modern Grozny looks like mini Dubai and uh, we are going to visit a viewpoint the best one here to observe the whole city oh my dear viewers uh, do you remember my video from Miracle Park of Dubai and uh, here in Grozny city there is also a Miracle Park a flower park not so great uh, and uh, uh, full of fairy tale characters as Dubai Miracle Park, but uh, it's pretty good. And the entrance is free. I hope uh, it looks better at night time with all lights and uh, with its uh, hearts everywhere. It's like a, a city garden for having nice time with families and friends. Yes, all about love. I think uh, the president of uh, Chechnya, 
Mr. Ramzan Kadyrov believes that sooner or later Grozny city will be like Dubai. <laughs> oh, this is the only one Orthodox church in Chechnya, in a Muslim region of Russia. Uh, it's new and it's, it looks terrific in this Muslim world. And we are still in a flower garden uh, near business center and on top of the left building we had a viewpoint. My dear viewers, write down in comments what regions in Russia would you like me to uh, film for you. I'm ready to, uh, to go wherever you want. My dear viewers, thanks a lot for your great support. Um, I adore your comments and you know that I try to answer everyone. And thanks a lot for your donations. Uh, you help me a lot. And especially when you use super thanks and super chats. It's a pity, but this uh, uh, point is impossible for Russian subscribers. But for all foreigners, you're welcome. I, I love your, your support. You help me to develop my channel and to travel more around Russia and to... Uh, to do a good job for you, to film everything possible and impossible. Thanks a lot. I've made the investigation and they know the name of this prospect. This is the prospect of the president of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov. And on the opposite side, uh, what's going on on the opposite side of river across the bridge? When you cross the bridge, then you prospect started. The new prospect starts. The prospect of the friend of the president of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov. Who is this? Of course, our president Vladimir Putin. So this is the prospect of Putin. Putin's prospect. I don't know how to say, but I think it's clear to you. It's a pity, but I cannot shoot a video uh, of the sightseeing behind me. I'm on the top of uh, the building. It's a 29th floor uh, and I can film all parts besides that one. Do you know why? Because the residence of president is located there and it's strictly prohibited to film those very interesting part oh my dear viewers have a look at this stadium this is uh, famous Ahmad Arena um, truly speaking football is not my thing um, but I know that there are great deal of fans of uh, Chechnya football team Ahmad. Yes? Write down in comments, please. I'm a fan of this team and they play in a Premier League, if I remember rightly. And what portraits you can see here in Ahmad Arena, of course, two best friends, Vladimir Putin and Ramzan Kadyrov. This is their home stadium and we are ready to move further, to go further, to explore this wonderful and extraordinary part of Russia, Chechnya. Uh, my dear friends, uh, do you have kebab street in your city? where all the best kebab restaurants are situated in one street two sides of the streets only only kebab restaurants and we don't know exactly where to go oh. 
the names uh, of these restaurants are so attractive. Uh, the most delicious, juicy kebab, for example. Or um, juicy and powerful kebab. Uh, quickly and tasty, uh, something like that. But um, I don't see my friends and where is Tanya? I think she has chosen this restaurant. Oh my dear viewers, we are very greedy when we see such an abundance of shashlik. Have a look. Lamb national style uh, kebab uh, costs 50 rubles for big, big kebab. And um, uh, that one is beef kebab, also 500 rubles. And chicken kebabs, 400 rubles only. And lula kebab, it's like a cutlet. Um, 450 rubles and potato kebab, vegetable kebab, and um, they have mushroom kebab, and, and what else? Of course, national bread. Looks looks terrific, and um, its price is only 50 rubles for one loaf. I don't know what to do, Tanya. Are you happy? <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, looks very, very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tanya. She's singing songs because she's very, very happy to feel this smell. Sauces and what the onion and a spicy carrot. And one, two, three, let's go! <laughs> let's go!